Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a, a grocery haul for you and I don't have my meal plan written down yet. So I'm just gonna tell you guys as I go along what I am using for what. So the meat first. So of course I pick up some bacon. Um, actually I do need the bacon in one of the recipes this week um, and a roasted cauliflower, like a loaded roasted cauliflower. So I need bacon for that. Picked up some chicken tenders. I'm going to be making some blackened chicken tenders, kind of like those Tyson ones that you can buy. So I'm gonna have that with a with broccoli and an Alfredo sauce. So that'll be for one of the dinners. So I will be doing a dinner with uh, chicken breast and then the loaded cauliflower, roasted cauliflower. And I picked up quite a bit of ground beef just to stock up. So I'm doing taco salads for one of the nights and then uh, stuffed meatballs for another one so and then I'll have plenty left over to put in the freezer I wanted sal salami and pepperoni so I could do some uh, roll-ups but I could not find a pepper um, salami so I'm just gonna have to pick that up somewhere else so I did pick up some pepperoni and then I picked up some of this buffalo lunch meat I actually picked this up yesterday and had this um, for my lunch yesterday, I just wrapped it with some cheese, but I really like this buffalo style. So that's probably what I'll do is just eat that for lunch over the weekend. And this is the cheese I just wrapped up in it. So this is just some thin sliced Colby Jack cheese. I picked up some eggs and then I needed to stock up on some other cheese just to use for recipes. So I picked up some pepper jack and then some Colby Jack. And then I was almost completely out of butter, so I just picked up two of those. I don't really have a plan for those, but it was on sale for the Umqua Dairy Butter, and I really like that butter. So I'm gonna just go and throw one on the freezer and one in the refrigerator. Um, the broccoli is going to be for the Alfredo blackened chicken um, broccoli, and you will see that in an upcoming video. Heavy cream for coffee, and then I also found this. So Erin talked about this in one of her videos and I, if I remember right, she really liked it. So this is an super creamer. So it's from the same people that makes that super coffee that I bought that I really liked. Um, this has protein plus MCT oil, zero sugar, 50 calories, three grams of protein. This one's vanilla. They also had a hazelnut and it's for three tablespoons. So you can see here it's zero carbs. So I thought I would try this in place of my half and half. And then this was something that was new. I just picked up, I don't know if I'll like it or not, but this is a new energy drink from Coca-Cola and this is zero sugar. So I don't know if it's supposed to be Coca-Cola flavored. I have no idea. They actually had regular, but that was regular, um, that wasn't zero sugar. So they had regular energy drinks and then they had a cherry one, but I didn't see a sh zero sugar in the cherry at all. So I, this peanut butter I've seen um, and one of my like grocery stores that is was like $8.99 for this size. Um, so I did find it at my local grocery store. This is the Santa Cruz Organic and it's only two net carbs for uh, two tablespoons. So it's like that one from Walmart that my store does not carry. So it just has, as you can see, just organic peanuts and um, salt and that's it. So two net carbs and this is the creamy dark roasted peanut butter one. And I picked up some Olive Garden Italian dressing. This is two carbs, but I've just been really wanting this. It's a really good salad dressing. I picked up a couple things of a Quest chips. I picked up the chili lime and the nacho cheese. So I will probably use one of these for my taco salad. And I'll just crumple it up and put it in there with my taco salad. But I picked up two just in case I wanted to have um, a taco salad for lunch or something one of the days next week. I really liked the cherry cola Zevia that I picked up. So I picked up the grapefruit citrus. I thought that might be kind of like, um, like a squirt or something like that. So hopefully that is good. And I told you guys I was trying to up my protein without upping my fat. And so I did pick up some of these premier proteins. They are three net carbs, but I used to drink these all the time in my coffee. So I thought that would be something I could have maybe in the mornings. I just picked up a small one. I was going to go to Costco and they have the big ones right now for $19.99. But just in case I don't like them as much as I used to because my tastes have kind of changed a little bit. And so I thought that I would just get the four pack and just go from there. But this is the caramel ones. I Probably my favorite ones are the cookies and cream, but they, I believe, are four net carbs. So I picked up those ones. And for the stuffed meatballs, I need to make a tomato sauce. 
So I picked up some petite, petite diced tomatoes and some tomato sauce. So that will go with the stuffed meatballs. Um, I really like the Vital Proteins collagen, um, but I can't find flavored ones in my area. And so they have these um, like little individual packs. So this is coconut. So I picked up two of the coconut and one of the vanilla. I know the mocha I really like. Uh, those up. I picked up two of the Kiss My Keto Bars. These are probably my favorite keto bars that are out there. Um, I got the chocolate peanut butter and the chocolate cookie dough. They also have a coconut chocolate one and that one I do not like. It has a really strong kind of coconut extract flavor that I don't like at all. Okay, so I picked up some power greens for salads this week. And also for salads, I did pick up some um, spinach. Zucchini, I may do some zucchini noodles with these stuffed meatballs. I'm not a huge zucchini noodle fan, but I haven't had them in a while, so I did pick up two. I do just like sauteed zucchini as well, but I think I might spiral one of these up and go ahead and try it with the stuffed meatballs. Onion for salad, tomatoes. I like the tomatoes for omelets and just in my salads and whatnot. Green onions. I'm gonna have that on the um, roasted cauliflower. And then avocados, you know, for salads and everything else. And they had a cauliflower for that roasted cauliflower. And that is everything. So stay tuned this week for a what's for dinner video and also my daily vlogs. And you will see meal prep on Monday. So I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.